Yesterday, Russia announced it will expel 60 U.S. diplomats and shut down the U.S. consulate in St. Petersburg. The move comes in retaliation to the biggest expulsion of Russian diplomats since the Cold War. The State Department, however, says there was no justification for Moscow's actions. We don't see this as a diplomatic tit for tat. Russia is responsible for that horrific ta attack on the British citizen and his daughter. State Department spokesperson Heather Nauer also scolded Russia for trying to play the victim in the situation and said the U.S. reserves the right to respond to Moscow's latest move. Joining us now to discuss this is retired U.S. Army Major General Paul Vallely. He's the chairman of Stand Up America. General, welcome. Well, thank you, Governor. Happy to be with you. Okay, so 28 countries, including the U.S., eject more than 150 Russian spies, as the State Department called them. Then Russia fires right back with matching expulsions of their own. How bad is this situation, and is this the beginning of another Cold War? Well, perhaps we're in a Cold War again, but of a different nature. But I, I think uh, without solid evidence uh, that Britain has not been able to provide yet, that uh, there's a lot of suggestions that it uh, was done by uh, a Russian agent uh, killing another uh, Russian agent in Britain. But I think it's been overhyped too much. Uh, there's been too much escalation. Uh, at a time when we're dealing with a lot of things in the Middle East that Trump and Putin should be meeting on and could solve if they if they did meet. But, uh, you know, uh, most of these uh, situations where they uh, recall ambassadors or they recall diplomats or closed consulates and so on, they usually don't last too long. Usually within a year, everything's back uh, to somewhat normality, maybe with some different people. But I think this has been far over overhyped uh, based on the lack of evidence so far. Mm, very interesting. Uh, I want to get your reaction too to something that was said earlier today on Newsmax TV about Russia. Here's former CIA analyst Fred Flight. When Russia is poisoning former Russian spies in a Western country using a, a weapon of mass destruction. It's very difficult not to regard Russia as an enemy and, and as a rogue state. And I think it really required a very aggressive response by Western states, by nations all over the world. And I'm very proud of President Trump for the step that he took to expel Russian diplomats with our allies to send a clear message to Vladimir Putin that this thug-like Soviet behavior is unacceptable in the modern world. This is something we expected of the Cold World, Cold War, and, and if Putin wants to coexist and, and cooperate in the current environment, this type of behavior is just unacceptable. Your reaction, General, I know you said a lot of this is overhyped, um, but what would your reaction be to those thoughts? Is Russia an enemy of the United States? Well, I, I think the constant attack against Russia uh, since Trump uh, was elected has caused a lot of, uh, uh, I would say, uh, parting of the ways. And uh, we've not uh, met, as I suggested, when I set up the meeting between Trump and Putin uh, at the G20. Uh, that was to lead to a better agreement uh, regarding the Middle East and this, the refugee problem in Europe. But the constant attacks against Putin and Russia uh, just have escalated out of control, I think. And now it's time for the leaders to get together and solve some of these things. And for Britain to come up with some solid evidence that it was a Russian agent under the supervision or direct control uh, of the uh, Russian government that uh, conducted this. And that's not there right now. 